80s show, Avenue for the Stars. Today on your favorite celebrity show, we shall be bringing you an exclusive interview with one of Nigeria's gospel artists, Amaka Okwaha, popularly known as Choma Jesus. She is one who started a musical career rooted in the church. She began singing in the choir at the age of nine. She later became a soloist, but also a chorus leader in the Scripture Union Fellowship in her church. Although she wrote her first song in Yoruba, she mostly writes in Igbo language and sometimes in English language. And in 2011, she released the hit song Praise. In 2019, she also released an album titled My Testimony. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. My name is Evangelist Uzamaka Ukwaha, a.k.a. Choma Jesus. Chema Jesus came about 20 years ago when I was praying and asking the Lord concerning my first album I was to release them so I was praying on the mountain asking God the name and the theme of the album it was then that Chioma came because the first song was Chioma made Chioma. So as I was praying and asking God, he said the name of the album will be Chioma, then I should add Jesus. Then I wrote it down. But before then, God spoke to me that he's going to give me a song that will hit the entire globe. And that song will take over my name. That nobody will know my real name again as Amaka or Zamako Kuoha. And then, as God said it, immediately that song was released. People start calling me Shioma Jesus. By the special grace of God, I'm the only artist that is being addressed by the name of the song and not the real name. It was a word from the Lord 20 something years ago. And today, that word has come to pass. Really, I did not choose music against other career, but it's a call, it's a calling from God. Music wasn't in my line. I'm a, I mean, I'm a businesswoman. I love business. I was into business before God called me into singing ministry. And not only just to sing, is a call from God. That calling is upon my life. So when I find out it was a call, a calling from God, so I had no other option than to quit every other thing I'm doing. By the special grace of God, what has made me to stand out is because I knew the area where God has called me. He has called me to use local songs to minister to people, use local songs in my local dialect to depopulate the kingdom of darkness and populate the kingdom of God. So I decided to stand on that land God has given me. I don't want to shift. I don't want to sing like any other gospel artist. I want to be myself. I want to be what God wants me to be. I want to sing the songs Holy Ghost have asked me to sing. So I believe by the special grace of God, this was what have singled me out. I'm done with... Uh, Minister Samsung about eight, nine years ago we did the Dogunara. I've done with Pastor Nathaniel Bassi. Pastor Nathaniel Bassi is for him, Akwaibom. I've done with Macy Chimo, my daughter. I've done with the EZT concept. You know, just to name but just a few. Really, as a human being, I felt fulfilled. I felt that I'm not worthy to stand on that experience, but because with God, all things are possible. I felt fulfilled because that revelation was given to me 20 something, 30 years ago. I saw myself on that platform experience and seeing God fulfilling his word over my life, it made me to hold on to God, 
to follow God more, to love Him, and to walk with Him with sincerity of heart, knowing that whatever He says concerning me, He will bring it to pass because He's not a man that He should lie. Whenever I mount to the stage, the first thing that comes to my mind is I am owned by God and that I'm accountable to God. And whatever I'm going to do will give God glory. That God will be glorified and not me. That's the thing that comes. And another thing that comes is to usher in the presence of God because in the days of his powers, his people shall be willing. That is God, that I'm here to represent God, and that God must be represented well. So I have to be conscious of what I'm doing. I'll say, God, take over me and do whatever you want to do with me. So that at last, only him alone will be glorified and not me. Apart from music, I'm a businesswoman. I run an a company. I run an event company called CJ Event Management. We have stage, we have screen, we have sound, we have lights, we have generators, we have trucks. We package in events like crusades, conferences, prayer meetings for people. A lot of them. Then I have a. Um, a company where they sell akara different kinds of african fabrics we deal on them i'm into contracts too in fact into general markets anything that you can do to get money and help people because i run an ngo i have a choma jesus charity foundation we are empower churches in the rural area pastors widows youths and children so I'm not that type that beg people for money. I believe that with the name and the strength God has given to me, I can do so. Really, I'm not really satisfied because the Bible says that the glory of the latter shall be greater than the former. I believe we're in the end time revival. And the army that God is ushering in this season, the army that God is raising this time, they will do far more greater than the things we are doing. So I'm looking up to that time that when gospel artists will be singing and the cripples will be walking, people will be dropping their guns, people will be dropping their weapons to run to Jesus Christ. That is the phase, another phase that Okemo is releasing this season and I will live to see that season. My advice to all the upcoming gospel artists is for you to seek the giver the giver of gift and not the gift. Jesus is the giver of gift. Jesus is the main lifter. When you seek Jesus first, every other thing shall be added unto you. I never knew that today I will be among the gospel artists that is being celebrated all over the world. It was not in my, in my picture I do not have anything in mind that I will go and sing today. People will pay me in dollars in any amount of money just to sing. I was just doing it because I love God. I said, let me serve God with the gift he has given to me. But look at where it has brought me today. Put God first in all things you are doing. When you put God first, then God himself will back you with every other thing. Know God first. He's the gift and he's the giver. Don't replace God's position in your life with the gift because you want to sing. You want to be empowered. You want to be known. No. And one thing you should know is God that lifts men. It's not brand. It's not company. It's not your money. Because if it is not God that lifts men, show my Jesus, 
Nobody branded me. Nobody assisted me. It was God who made me. If you will see God today, God will make you. Jesus' name. If you say Chiyama, Chiyama. receive your Chiyama. Amen. If you call on Chiyama, Chiyama. take your Chiyama. Amen. If you jump Chiyama, Chiyama. I say catch your Chiyama. Amen. If you holler Chiyama, Chiyama, receive your Chiyama. Amen. Chiyama will bless you. Amen. Chiyama will raise you. Amen. Chiyama will fight your battle. Amen. Chiyama will answer you this year. Amen. You will not die. Chiyama will keep you alive. Chiyama will shield your life. Chiyama will protect you. Chiyama will preserve you. My name is Akbaro Road. Harry Song, aka okay, Mr. Song. My name is Jim Mike. I'm Tarina Patel, and you keep watching Avenue for the Stars. And guess what? You are going to be a star just like me that is if you think i'm a star so uh-huh uh-huh enjoy this avenue and that's our package for you this week do want to join us again next week as we bring you yet another exclusive interview with one of nigeria's singer pastor trumpeter and gospel songwriter nathaniel bassey and your vessel Please watch this and more next week on your best celebrity program on TV. Thanks for watching. This program is produced by Tosi Abiola. Till next week, stay out of trouble and God bless Nigeria.